Do you do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just to, uh, well, I don't think you know what you're president. here for. Well, you the one talking about. I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes little. are messing up. No, with you ain't anyway. nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order, please. The form of the resolution is as follows: declaring the office of Speaker of the House of Representatives to be vacant. <laughs> this is the uniparty for the American people watching. I know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry. And, and probably worse than black people I know. We just ran that report, Marjorie, about these congressional stock traders. We found out you did not beat the S&P 500, which I guess maybe you're proud of, but maybe not so happy about. <laughs> so I actually asked my team about that today, why my name was on the list, because I don't even own any stocks and I haven't all of 2023. As a matter of fact, we have to report everything, including children who are dependents of ours. And I think what was reported was actually related to my son's account that that my his father and I had set up for him years ago. There's reason to believe that Congresswoman Marjorie Greene is lying about that. And we'll get to why I believe that's the case in just a moment. But you just heard her claim that, you know, this latest report about her investments just barely under underperforming the S&P 500 um, is a lie. She's denying that that's the case. She says she's not invested in the stock market personally. And that it sets her apart from several of her colleagues in the Senate and House of Representatives who actually outperformed the S&P 500, according to the latest report by Unusual Whales. He says, likewise, despite centuries of exclusion and robust evidence of continuing racism, minority underemployment is often and couched in the language of bad choices and personal responsibility. I gotta tell you, anybody's unemployment has to do with bad choices and personal responsibility. And again, that does not have a skin color. I know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry and, and probably worse than black people I know. And I would not hire them because they're lazy and they're sorry and they're pathetic. And that has everything to do with their bad choices and their personal responsibility. That is not a skin color issue either, that's a people issue. Marjorie Green managed to insult financially struggling Americans and all black people in one fell swoop. Probably the only thing that she's managed to accomplish. <laughs> I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? Chairman, I'm I, make a, a I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. trying to find clarification on what qualifies. Chairman, I, I motion to I strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this, look, you guys, Earlier, literally just- oh, You just, you just, just voted to do it. Y'all did it first, so you just voted to do it. Order, order. order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at, calm down, calm no, down. No, 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 because this is what y'all right. do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. clarification. Hey, Ms. Crockett, you're not recognized. Ms. Crockett. I can't hear you with your yelling. Hey, you don't want me calm to down. be- No, you please calm don't down. tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk noise, and then you can't take it. You're out of control. Because if I come and talk about her, y'all don't have a problem. And let me be clear, I like the uh, Crockett strike back, okay? <laughs> and so the, the part that I'm uh, mildly ironically defending Marjorie Taylor Greene on is, I don't care about decorum. So I think it's great that they had a shouting match. I love that all rules of etiquette have been broken. Uh, I don't think it's like, oh my God, they're third graders. I'm so disappointed with what's happening. No, people in Congress need to be yelling at each other a lot more. So I'm glad that that has begun. Now. Uh, having said that, who's right, who's wrong? Uh, she says to AOC that she doesn't have enough intelligence to debate Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> 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 See, that's why I like Crockett Strike Back because, okay, we're talking about looks. Okay, as long as it's all right to talk about looks, then I'm gonna talk about looks. Uh, so let's be clear. I mean, don't tell me that she doesn't have to apologize, but then I can't say the same things that she said, right? So that I enjoy a lot. In terms of, and then the 
the calm down trick that they did on Representative Cockett drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Develop and grow our majority by building upon our resources and expanding. He instead led us to another CR on January 18th, 2024 and got it passed with the support of 207 Democrats. And all Democrat members of the committee voted to advance the measure to the floor. While removing this uniparty speaker will not give the speaker's gavel to the Democrats, which would only happen if Republicans actually vote for Hakeem Jeffries. That happened on the House floor. As she was speaking, there was also a press conference with Republican lawmakers taking place, and they lined up one by one to basically taunt Marjorie Taylor Greene, argue that she's an agent of chaos. One member of Congress even referred to her as Moscow Marge.